Hey guys, and how about we play Pokemon Omega Ruby version? So, first thing that I want to do is go into my bag, go into this CD place, and I want to get Fly and teach it to Peck. Because, you know, this is, this is going to be awesome having Fly now. So, yes, we want Peck to learn the move Fly. Uh, yes, which move? I am thinking Focus Energy. Yeah, because I like double team. I like having two attacks at least like that. You know, quick attack is always nice. Aerial Ace, a flying type that's actually not a two-turn move is nice. Focus Energy, I just never really use. Can be used perfectly, I'm sure. Like, if you know how to execute it, you know, well, it could probably be really good for you. But I don't really ever use it. So, now we have Fly, and this is fantastic. Um, if you are curious, here's our trainer badge. We now have six of eight badges. Oh, for, the se for a second I was like, is that last one a Triforce? No, it's not quite. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, yeah, we're still in Fortree City, if you aren't aware. We just beat Winona last time, and now we just get to get out of here. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm going to go to round... What was it, 220? I don't know, it's where we first saw Steven, and he gave... Not first off, but where we saw Steven, and he gave us the Devon Scope so we could see the invisible Kecleon. Um, and then there was a bridge. We turned around and left. But there was more to do across the bridge, probably, unless the bridge kind of just gave up, you know, and died. Um, but I'm going to ignore those Pokemon right now. I figure I can catch them in my, like, you know, off-camera stuff. Um, so it's on-camera technically, but you know what I mean. Unless this is a Pokemon I don't have yet. I feel like I have a Linoon. Don't I have a Linoon? I think I do. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I might as well just give a quick Mach Punch to knock it out. Goodbye, Linoon. Give me your experience. Good. Oh, 525. That's actually pretty impressive for a wild Pokemon. I guess I haven't trained in the wild for a while, only against other trainers, so that's kind of interesting. I am just trying to get through this- Ah! That is a boat horde of Meryl! Okay. Well, I guess now we have to do it. We don't have any Meryl. Maybe if I can just keep one of them alive. It's a Mega Drain. Ah, oh, it'd be really nice if it just affected all of them. You know what? I'll, I'll get a Meryl later. I don't want to have to take the time to go through five different Pokemon just to catch one of them. So I guess that'd be four different Pokemon, but oh well. My Pokemon is strong. How about your Pokemon? Oh, super strong? Probably stronger than yours, right? Just naturally. So. Oh, Swablu. Ooh, hmm. That's not perfect for Little Sap. Neither of his moves are, are great against Swablu. Yeah, let's actually switch. Let's switch Little Sap out now. Um, I want to send... Fine, I'll send Chispa out. Just because of the whole flying part. You know, I'm trying not to use Chispa as much right now because Chispa's level 30. Oh, about to be 36. He's already like two levels ahead of all my other Pokemon. Because he basically took on all of Winona's gym by himself. I think he did actually. Not even basically about it. So he just has a lot of experience. You know, I don't blame him. I needed him to do that for me for the gym for the sake of getting a badge. But yeah. Chispa grew to level 36! Ha ha ha! So, stat changes, stat totals, and oh, another new. Now, I don't want Roar. Who wants Roar? No. I mean, yes, in that case. Oh, and Little Sap did getting experience too. Good. You and your Pokemon were stronger. Yeah, no kidding! I got money! Good. I think we're actually doing pretty well on money. I didn't pay attention to that when I checked my trainer card, but you might have. So. Yeah, you. I guess you know. Don't have to tell me, because I'll be able to check on my own really soon. Just, I can do it whenever, in fact. But, just so you know. Are you a trainer? You are. Ah, uh, but you look... Another bird Pokemon trainer. I should probably um, not have Little Sap out in front. Just for the sake of this battle, I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, so... Oh, I did never get the little ninja dude that was hiding before Fortree. I'll do it later. Funny how you have to actually talk to them, though. They're not, like, waiting to jump out at you. They're just, like, waiting there. We ninja conceal ourselves under our invisibility cloaks. I bet you didn't know where I was. Oh, I hate self-destruct. You stupid coughing. Ha 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 ha! Screw you, coughing. That didn't do much at all. Ha! Okay. Um. Almost skipping. Little Sap grew to level 32. Coughing. Yeah, now we're skipping. Another self-destruct! Coughing, why are you like this? Haha, <laughs> cause you're stupid, that's why I'm still alive! Buck just absorbed- look okay, not absorbed. Two explosions or self-destructs! So, that- ah, uh, I don't think he could stand a third one though, we should- we should probably switch out now. Okay, Peck! You got this! 
We are going to hit him once with wing attack, and then we're going to fly to get away from another self-destruct, under the assumption that it's going to use self-destruct. So, Aerial Ace! I said wing attack, I meant Aerial Ace. Also, what? No, I don't keep saying that we're going to skip. Quiet. I hope that doesn't do anything for flying types. Okay, so fly. Go. Avoid the destruction! Oh, just another gyro ball. Oh, that could be bad. Kill him! Kill him now! Ha! Oh. oh Haze, that's fine, actually. I could do any move at this point and kill him. Unless I were to do double team, that, that would not kill him. But there goes the third coughing! Who has a team with only coughing? It's kind of odd. I mean, I guess in a lot of cases it could be pretty good. Like, if they don't have anything good against poison, but if they do, you're just completely screwed. Just no variety. Um, skipping trainers for the sake of hurrying along and making progress. Another secret base place. Awesome. Uh, there's a catcher. Haha, -ha, screw you, catcher. Not going to catch me. Ooh, I found a Pokeball. Riz found a nugget. Haha, -ha, gold stuff. We're going to take that and put it in our pocket and eventually sell it, probably. Assuming I remember is a thing. I forget very often that I actually have items. I, I, I assume we're supposed to jump down all this stuff? Hopefully we are. I hope I'm not just like completely backtracking. Like what's up here? Okay, I guess I could just jump back up. Okay, so it's not like if I am backtracking I could easily go back is the thing. That's not terrible then. Um, is this a thing? Yeah, a light ball. Uh oh, I forget what that... Oh, that's not like a, that's not like a Pokeball. That's actually like an electric boosting move, isn't it? Let's see. Light ball. Yep, an item to be held by Pikachu. It's a puzzling orb that boosts its attack and special attack stats. It's sad, though, that it's only to be used by Pikachu. Like, why make that distinction? It's kind of weird. Um, what's up here? I don't know. We got berries. I'm gonna take these berries, you bet I am. And now that we've watered our berries, we are going to... Is up a place. Okay, I might as well see. That's a linen. We already have a linen. And we encountered a Pokemon anyway. Sigh. Okay, so this is up. It looks new to me. I have to fight him. Makes sense. My face is so scary that when I walk in the tall grass, nothing appears at all. Oh, that's kind of impressive. Teach me your secrets, sir. You were challenged by Street Thug Gomez. All right, Street Thug Gomez, bring it on. So we have a dark type, a dark grass, I believe, against my fighting grass. I think I have the upper hand here. So, Mach Punch. I'm pretty sure I have the upper hand here. From what I remember, dark's weak against fighting. Ah, oh, it protected itself. Ow, that hurt. That's a, that's kind of a cool move. What was that? I didn't see. I like it, though. It's like protect, except it actually hurts the person attacking. I assume. Maybe it, like, fails more often. I don't know. Either way, we beat him. It must be nice to have strong Pokemon. Yeah, I guess if he doesn't encounter any Pokemon in the wild, he can't really train, can he? Not really. Okay, up here, there's a rock, and another rock, and, and you. Hello, you. Who might you be? Are you perhaps searching for ancient ruins that are rumored to possibly exist according to legend? Sure. That's what I'm doing now, now that I know. You were challenged by Ruin Maniac Chip. Hello, Chip. I'm going to crush you. Ball toy. I can't remember what type ball toy is. So let's try a mock punch. And go. Okay, well, it's not super effective, so it's not rock type. It could be ground type, though. Hmm. I don't know. Let's now try Mega Drain. Go. It is ground type. I believe we can reasonably say now. That's good, little sap gets some help. Ah, Why does everyone have self-destruct but me? Not that I'd really use it, except for like when I had a sliver of health left. You know, I would do that thing where you like, you last as long as you can, and then at the very last moment, self-destruct, just to annoy people. I got a sub nose pass, pretty sure this is rock type. But instead of doing mock punch, I actually want to use Mega Drain to try to heal a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah, see, that was nice. Don't you self-destruct, Nose Pass. I'll murder you. Thank you. I gave that into a ton. So it would take two more Mega Drain, probably one Mock Punch um, to kill, or to knock Nose Pass out. 
But I would rather just take this time to heal a little bit at a time, you know. Rock Slide obviously hurts, but not as much as Mega Drain heals, so I, I inch up just a little bit every time. Uh, maybe not this time though, because Nose Pass is already so weak that I'm not going to absorb that much health. Either way, Nose Pass is dead, which means he cannot do Rock Slide, so in the end, I certainly did have more health than when I started. Good for me, and, and Little Sap mostly. But we beat him, good. What a disgraceful setback! Indeed, sir. Now I'm curious about these ruins, though. Hmm, maybe I should check them out. Pokeball! Riz found a revive. Is that a tree where I could have a base? It looks very different compared to other trees. Tree? Yep, that's right, it is. And there's a ninja, we're not gonna worry about him, but we are gonna pick these berries! And now the berries have been planted and I water them, I guess it's time to go down here and see if we can find what the heck he was talking about. Is this a thing? It like zoomed in on it when I stepped right up close to it. I don't think it normally does that. Maybe if I had the right move or if I encounter something specific in the storyline. Because this is Generation 3. Um, wait, was this a generation where Unknown were introduced? Or was that Generation... I feel like... A, no, Unknown were Generation 2. Pretty sure. However, I believe Unknown were involved in the Regis, which was this generation. Regirock, Registeel, Regice. Maybe that's an area for one of them. I honestly do not remember at this point. So, Mock Punch to get 500 experience-ish. I didn't see anywhere else to go up this way, so I'm assuming that I'm not supposed to go there for the sake of the storyline. We're going to head south. I will jump ahead a bit to see if I can try to find where the crap I'm supposed to go. South we go! Hello, South. Is there anything to you? Well, there is this bit. I want to see what that- Oh, I was going to go up to try to read the sign, but oh well. Route 121, definitely a place. Route 121. Oh, thanks, sign. I already knew that. Um, you look like you might have dark types. Okay, let's do this. There are powers beyond our understanding in the world. Okay, cool. How many Pokemon do you have, miss? You were challenged by Hex Maniac Tammy. Tammy, a Hex Maniac. It doesn't seem to fit. Oh, Dark type, you know, Little Sap would be good against Ghost type, not so much. Let's try Mega Drain and see what happens. Yeah, not enough to really deem that worthwhile. Wow, this Dusk level 33. Little Sap is only 32. Huh. Uh, uh, hmm. That's not good. At this point, we should probably switch out. So, let's switch. Oh, Buck is still weak. Oh, they're all weak. Buck, I'll choose you! Just kill Duskull with your fire stuff. Obviously, Double Kick will not do it here. So, ready, Buck? Uh, dang it. I hate being confused. I really do. I really hate it. Okay. Um, okay, we'll flame charge! We can only hope. Come on. Dang it, Buck! Just about killed yourself. Oh, well, on the bright side, Duskull's now halfway dead. Oh. Um, downside, Buck is knocked out. Not dead. Knocked out. Okay, um, how about you, Chispa? You've always been a tough one. And you're, like, four levels higher. Than the other people, not than Duskull. So, Spark! I know Spark isn't as strong as Discharge, but I figure Duskull is weak enough. Yeah, we'll just take it down. I know Little Sap will get some experience from this, so that'll be good at least. Good! Little Sap grew to level 33! Um, uh, Mind Reader. I don't remember what that one does. I feel like it lets moves hit that normally would have low accuracy or wouldn't hit. I don't know. The user senses the target's movements with its mind to ensure its next attack does not miss the target. Okay, that is what it does. For now, though, I have no moves that would really benefit from that, so I'm not going to learn it. Should I get some super awesome move that would benefit from that in the future? Um, I can go back and just, you know, move tutor and remember it that way. So, yes, not going to learn Mind Reader yet, maybe in the future. Sableye. Mm, sure, we'll keep battling. We will right away use Discharge to try to kill it as quickly as we can. Discharge, go! Please kill it! Dang it. No, don't punish me, that's bad. Ah, <laughs> Chispa's in pain. Alright, Spark. Kill it, kill it, kill it. With electricity. Good, it is dead. Goodbye, Sableye. Good, okay. Woo. You know, I should probably try to avoid trainers until I either heal or take the time off camera to train. 
What are you doing staring at berries, girl? No! You're not a girl, you're a Pokemon! Wait, that's not fair to say. I should at least look at the gender first before I make any decisions. You're not a girl, I knew it! Okay. But I might be able to catch you. Okay, um, so Shubbit may have used Curse, which really hurt, you know, <laughs> Little Sap along with the burn, so we're gonna try to catch it right now! You might think, Riz, you sound rather rushed. Why did you use a Pokeball? Because I wanted to use a Pokeball. I slammed my fist down, but I didn't connect with the table because I don't want to make noise. But know that I'm serious. Haha, -ha, we caught the Shuppet. Gotcha, Shuppet was caught. Uh, I actually like Shuppet as a Pokemon. Um, I forget what its dex entry is, so it's really rather appropriate that this is popping up now. But as a Pokemon, it looks nice. I like it. So, hmm. Shuppet is attracted by feelings of jealousy and vindictiveness. If someone develops strong feelings of vengeance, this Pokemon will appear in a swarm and line up beneath the eaves of that po person's home. Almost said Pokemon's home. Shut up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. No, not gonna nickname it. But now we have it. Also, if you didn't know, I do have the egg in my party, so we're taking the steps, you know. These right here are the fields for this route. What? It's so handy to be able to use fly to get here. You can use fly to get to routes? Oh, but dear me. I bet you can't use fly yet to get here, can you? No. Going or Keep going all the way to Lily Cove if you want to be able to fly straight back here in the future. Once you can, it's really convenient. That's really cool. So they actually made it so once you, I guess, get the cities on the opposite sides of a route, you can get the routes in between those two cities. That's really handy. It really is. Okay, cool. Yes, getting berries. Avoiding trainer. Okay, done. Oh, no, it's Team Magma. Dang it. All right, we are leaving for Mount Pyre. We're going to obtain that ore before Team Aqua does. All right, goodbye, Team Magma. Best of luck to you. I am not going to do that. I don't have cut. I have to go the long way. Yeah, long way. Oh, no. Wait, that's not a city. What is that building? I'm curious now. Curse my curiosity, for I will have to travel in front of these people. Nope, nope, curse my curiosity, for it is going to remain unsatisfied because I first have to get to the next city. I don't want to die. I'd hate to black out, you know, or white out, or whatever it's called in this game. Ah, oh, I totally thought you are facing the other way. With my Pokemon, I have traveled the four world's four corners, not four corners of the world. You might say I have some confidence in my abilities. Well, good for you, old man, because your confidence will be your downfall. Okay, gentlemen, walk Walter, not Walker. I totally expected you to have, like, a Growlithe. That's fine, though. I mean, I'm cool with this. I just expect it otherwise. So, ah, uh, this is not going to end well. Hmm. Hmm. G-Spot, go! I'm going to hope that this opposing Manectric uses Electric-type attacks against g -Spa. If not, we're in trouble. Ha ha ha! Screw you, Manectric! For I have Lightning Rod. I don't know if you do though, so I'm just going to use Bite. If I get paralyzed, I know it doesn't. Yeah, cause static, but okay. I'm just gonna keep using Bite then. I will at least get it down to half health before Chispa faints. Um, oh, Odor Sleuth! Mm-hmm! <laughs> Fine, be that way. I don't even care that you identified me. Battle of the Manectric. I know I've been saying Manectric again, I'm sorry. Manectric! No! Oh well. You fought well, Chispa! Thank you for your service! Okay, at this point, 34. What level are you? Summary. You were 33. Okay, you're going out. Just quickly take him down. One mock punch, and then you're done. And then I'm pretty sure since you're gonna knock him out, the burn won't take effect, so you'll actually survive. Good. Let's see. I'm thinking. I don't know for sure. Good. Okay. Good. Ah, well played. Thank 14,000 for winning. I like this guy. I'm going to battle him more often. Well, um, this place actually brings back memories. This is where in the original Ruby, I spent so much time trying to catch Latios. I would just use these patches of grass. This is where I stayed. Okay, so we're going to skip past you. Oh, no. Ah, oh, dang it. Let's see what happens. Will you play with my delightfully pretty Pokemon? You sound a little older than you should, but okay, I'll do it. So, you were challenged by Pokefan Vanessa. Hopefully she gives me 14,000 Poke. That would be nice. 
Oh, Pikachu! I do like how they did that. In these later games, they actually gave Pikachu, you know, Pikachu's voice. That's fun. Leech Seed! Because I know that one Mach Punch won't knock it out. I know that I'm going to have to rely on other Pokemon. I know that those other Pokemon are weak and potentially weak against Pikachu as well. So, I think that Leech Seed is a good move to use. Also, that double team looked funny because Pikachu, like, rose up in the middle of it. Because we're going to gradually take down Pikachu's health while we're going to heal. I will also ha um Yes, okay. I will also use Poison Powder as a double whammy. You know, Pikachu is... Never mind. I was going to say Pikachu will take damage every turn from the Poison and from the Leech Seed, but that was not what ended up happening. It's a shame, really. I'm not gonna send out Peck. Peck will be a last resort for when we just need one, like, quick attack. Not necessarily quick attack, but a quick attack, you know? Um, to take it out. So, bite! No, please don't dodge this move. Again, it looks funny because it jumps up and then it's still going back and forth super quickly. Good. That one actually hit. Oh, you're almost... Hey! Don't take this victory away from me. Oh, that hardly did anything. Sweet. It's not a ton, but it does heal a little bit. From 42 up to 50. Oh, it actually healed 8. That's more than I thought it would. Awesome. Ah, oh, that's annoying. It's like the opposite of spamming sand attack. Just, just because the opposite person benefits, you know. I use double team if I feel like that Pokemon is going to be out for a long time and I want Pokemon to consistently miss. Whereas I use Sand Attack if I think the enemies is going to be out for a while, and I want to change that, you know. I want to make it so if they're, as long as they're there, they can't hit my Pokemon, whoever that may be. So, oh good, whomever, I think. And Pikachu is dead. Goodbye, Pikachu. Up to 49, or 39. 34? Oh, right, Pikachu didn't have that much health. Then to level 35! So, stat changes, total stats. No new moves. Vanessa will give me how much? 4,000. That is not nearly 14,000, but I will take it. Money's money. Mm, please say it's this way. Dang it. Good. Oh, I didn't encounter anything anyway. Nearly complete. I didn't know it would do that when you just click on it like that. That's cool. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, we'll see if this Pokemon is one that we need to capture. No, we have a Gloom. They don't need another Gloom. One Gloom is good enough. However, since it is Peck out, and Gloom is, you know, grass, I will use an Aerial Ace just to get a quick bit of experience, and then we will carry on. Oh, what? I told it. No! Hey! This is defeating the point of a quick experience. Nah. Fine. You know what? I'm gonna spam Quick Attack until I wake up. Then you'll be sorry, Gloom. You'll be sorry. I told you you'd be sorry, Gloom. Okay, good. Ah, oh, almost 35. Not quite. That's so sad. Okay, well, carrying on, we have arrived in Lily Cove City. We're actually here. I will visit the Pokemon Center really quick because first I need to heal, like, terribly bad. And I don't actually remember if that's required to, um, fly there. Maybe you just have to have it say, hey, you're in this location. Maybe you have to visit the Pokemon Center. I don't really remember. Either way, the deed is done. We have he healed here, so good. Uh, pff, uh kind of don't want to talk to people, but you're wearing weird pants, so I've been hearing about some rotten scoundrels who are nabbing people's Pokemon. I hear one even stole a meteorite. <laughs> I won't let him search my bag. That would be bad. What about you, little girl? Why are you standing here? I'm the memory girl. I can read Pokemon memories. Do you want to know the memory of your Pokemon? Sure, but I don't have any traded Pokemon, if that's what it's for. Let's... Let's see Latios. Oh, that's what it means. Latios Smith is at a tiny island. The Pokemon remembers that it got teary-eyed. Really? Aw, Latios really liked me. Well, that's good to know. What are you building? Obviously, you're a building, but what do you hold? I don't know. This planet's greatest mysteries lie and rest at the bottom of the sea. Or, that's what somebody said. I don't really know about it myself. Fair enough. What about you, old man? There's a super deep underwater trench between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. Or, that's what I heard, at least. I can't say for sure if it's true or anything. Thanks. Okay, what about this? No! No! I'm not doing this one. No, I just want to see if... You know, like, the news battlers? Yeah. I want to see if they have my show on yet. Mm, nope. That's retaliate. Click! 
Click, quickly, quickly, quickly. One more. We'll try one more channel. So we'll click yes, continue watching one more time. And we'll see. Dang it. Bloody. Fine. We're leaving. So with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot. It really helps me out. And I would love to have you guys. So, until <laughs> next time for my next video. Until then, take care. Cue outro. Go!